looking for a sixth Texas Motor Speedway win. His teammate Erickson's growing a little impatient. Everybody's looking to get the jump as the green flag flies. It's Opensky, one, two, three. Dixon trying to stop that, looking for an option. Herder, VK, they're working on Erickson. Really dicey here. These tires are pretty cold now and have probably picked up quite a bit of dust and debris. They'll be cleaned up now after one and two and everybody trying to figure out which way the car in front of them, James, is going to go. Look out, look There's out. a big crash. Three cars in the wall. Di Francesco. One of the Meyer Shane cars is Elio involved. Castro Neves and Graham Rahal. Graham Rahal. Oh, man, that's a tough one. Can't wait to get a replay of what happened there. But as you would say, Townsend, the, yeah, the, tire, the tires are cold. Sorry, there's more marbles, there's more dirt and debris as the race has gone on. That high line kind of gets tougher and tougher to make work. And, and that's the third yellow where Di Francesco has been in the vicinity. First two, I really don't put on him, but cars had to go high and wide as he slid up, and we'll just have to see what happens on this replay. Castor Neves, the wheels out. Di Francesco's moving in the cockpit. Look at all the marbles just on the apron. And that's the other thing coming in for these green flag pit stops. The, the drivers love yellow flag pit stops in Texas because in the green flag pit stops, you're trying to push on all those marbles on the on the apron there. Very, very difficult thing to do. Good to see Devlin Francesco getting out of the car. AMR safety team very quickly on the scene. IndyCar drivers incredibly lucky to have those guys and girls with us. So Looking back, and Di Francesco was low. They were three wide with Graham Rahal in the middle. I'm not sure who the aggressor was there. It's tough to tell if Devlin was trying to make it a three wide party or if if Elio was more coming to. We'll have to tell you. I want to see it. I want to see it start sooner. There. I need to see a little bit earlier as to how they got to that position. Here we on go. Board now, Felix Rosenquist. Oh, Di Francesco got below the white line. Low, I think. Low, and then kind of shot up the track. This is what happened with Colton Herta a couple years ago with Scott Dixon. Exactly. Side by side. You five, see Cashin Evans on the outside. Ooh, ugly hit. Look, look at the yellow car on the left. Yeah, that's uh, ill-advised. Ambitious move for sure. Rookie mistake. Tried to keep it down low, low enough to avoid Graham Rahal. Ultimately went below the white line. and. When you already know there's two cars side by side yeah. in front of you and three wide has not been something that's been a topic of conversation so far this weekend. Here's what it looked like for Elio Castro Neves, the four-time Indy 500 winner. Oh, that sound. That's what a 200 mile an hour crash sounds like. Elio is okay, but annoyed.